Guys, let's uh, let's talk more Warner Music this morning. Of course, it is a feature uh, given the company's re-entering the public markets. Uh, the first time since, well, 2011 is when uh, uh, Len Blavatnik led a group that uh, acquired it. His Access Industries, of course, continues to be the largest single shareholder. And they are the selling shareholder here, recall. This is not the company raising primary capital. It is essentially an IPO, but it is a secondary offering. The shares, the 77 million plus shares uh, that being offered were for sale by other shareholders. Um, let's bring in Stephen Cooper. Uh, on the phone in a first on CNBC. He's the company's uh, CEO. Uh, Stephen, congratulations on the offering. Nice to have you this morning. Thank you for being with us. Thanks so much. I uh, appreciate the invitation. Well, it's good to have you. Uh, let's get right to the business itself. Um, specific to some of the questions I know that you got during the so-called roadshow, it was obviously a different kind of a roadshow because of current conditions. But uh, your business has done extraordinarily well. The value that's been created by Mr. Blavatnik since he bought the company for, what, $3.3 billion or so uh, nine years ago has been extraordinary. Nonetheless, now that you're back in public markets, uh, margin improvement. Let's start there. Um, some, some investors are worried that it hasn't occurred as much as you said it would from the shift from physical to digital, that, you know, that should contribute a great deal of margin improvement and hasn't. How do you respond to that? Well, we do see um, better margins with digital. The, uh, the spread between digital and physical is about 15 points. We have, um, however, uh, with Access's support and, um, um, you know, patients, have consistently reinvested much of our free cash flow into building not only the brain power, but the muscle mass of the business, David, we, uh, we can see as a result of any number of those programs, our margins improved um, nicely in 19. And we have some well laid out roadmaps to continue to enhance margin in the future, particularly as the physical side of the business continues to contract. Right. Uh, obviously, streaming has been the engine of growth for your company for some time and continues to be. The growth of streaming is quite strong, but it is decelerating. Is that a concern to you? Well, it's decelerating because the numbers continue to get bigger. But frankly, when you look at when you look at not only the mature markets, but the emerging markets, Streaming has, uh, from our perspective, still meaningful, meaningful growth. The, um, the, uh, the number of people utilizing streaming, when you look at that number versus the smart device population, we're still in early stages. And because, because we believe that music really is the only global language on this planet that streaming and and the ease of utilizing streaming will continue to drive adoption, both in the developed and and the emerging markets. Yeah, uh, and obviously you go into detail on that in the S one. Um, Apple and Spotify, speaking of streaming, are twenty seven percent of your revenues. Um, they are growing, but that's a meaningful amount of your revenues. And I wonder, does that give them more power to extract more value from you uh, and other distributors as well? Um, no, we, we uh, you know, content is, is a critical component of any service. We're on very good relationships with our streaming partners uh, I think we've reached a point where the economic model is got a high degree of stability. And I would point out, David, that there are new models that utilize music as one of their foundational building blocks emerging every day. A couple of years ago, you know, Peloton was associated with um, people dressed uh, in very colorful uniforms riding bikes over the Alps. 
Today, it's an exercise app. Nobody heard of TikTok two years ago. The social platforms are embracing and adopting new new uses of music. So, so we think distribution will continue to be fragmented. New use cases will pop up virtually every day, and that combination will continue to drive the growth of the utilization of music. 